years so of my life, she was Tito Jacqueline. One of the many titas who would share a table with my mom at the countless children's parties she would attend each year. I don't remember interacting with her that much, aside from the usual best one. She was just that tita who appeared to the facial burn on TV, and that tita who had a daughter who looked like a doll and almost never spoke. After many years of not seeing each other, her daughter and I would again cross paths. And that's when I got to know her more, and when she became Tita Jane She was indulgent, fun, and as we usually put it, cowboy. She would at times join Andy and I on our dates to the movies, to fully book, and to restaurants. She would always cook for me, whenever I visited, and we went bond over our love for Michael Jackson and interest in politics, much to Andy's annoyance. Nevertheless, I still felt the need to impress Tita Jane. Mas niligawan ko pa at siya kaysa sa anak niya. And by God's grace, a few months later, that daughter of hers who looked like a doll and almost never spoke, became the mother of my daughter, Yali. And boy, was Tita Jane the happiest. It wasn't exactly a smooth sailing pregnancy showbiz-wise, but being a nanay to Ellie seemed like the best thing that ever happened to Tita. Ellie was her pride and joy. Ellie became her life. It's no secret that Andy and I had a lot of highs and lows. And through it all, Tita, Tita Jane never wavered. In fact, the trials Andy and I faced brought me and Tita Jane even closer. Siya ang kausap ko sa phone ng ilang oras kapag may problema. Siya ang kainuman ko kapag may mas may problema. Siya ang kaiyakan ko kapag hopeless na talaga. And when it comes to Ellie, lalo na yung mga panahong magulo ang lahat, siya ang naging sang sanggang dikit ko. There were just too many ways in which she would help me. But what stands out to me is during the times when I was dying to see or spend time with my daughter but couldn't, Tita was the one who would help me find ways. Kahit anong oras, kahit nasa taping pa siya, she would go out of her way para makasama ko si Eddie, even just for a few moments. Perhaps she did it for me too. But I'm sure she did it, especially because she knew it would be good for Eddie. But as fate would have it, Andy and I would go on with our lives separately. And that, unfortunately, created a gap between me and Tita Jane. No landing phone calls, text messages, at inuman. It genuinely pains me to admit that we have basically become almost strangers these past few years. Hi, hello, and thank you na lang every time sinusundo or hinahatid niya si Eri sa amin. Tita, if you're listening, salamat sa lahat lahat. And I'm sorry. Napakabigat nito, Tita. Nagpahalam ka nalang bigla. Ang daming sana. Sana na ibalik pa natin kung paano tayo dati. Sana nahingan kita ng advice sa trabaho natin. Sana naka-exay naman lang kita. Sana nakapag-two-bots pa tayo. Sana napadalas pa si Sireli. Sana kinumusta kita nung malungkot ka at nag-iisa. Tita, sana makabawi ako sa'yo at Ruelli. Pero huwag kang mag-alala. Dahil tinruan mo ako at pinakita at pinaramdam mo sa'kin kung paano maging mabuting magulang. 
Eh, they will be okay, tita. Hindi ko siya pagbabayaan. In one of your last text messages to me, ang sabi mo, Jake, namimiss kita sobra. Anak, pero yung turan ko sa'yo. Mahal kita, alam mo yan. Tita, sana, alam mo na mahal din kita. At mahal na mahal ka ni Eric, tita. Your one and only nanay, you'll always be. Thank you. Thank you, Jim.